Thanks to Wondrium for sponsoring this video. All right, I went to Japan a few years ago, and while I was there, I went poopy. But have you seen Japanese toilets? They're amazing, they got so many buttons and nooks and crannies. Frankly, it scared me, but in a different way than how I'm normally scared when I'm on the toilet. But fear is the enemy of progress. But fear, get it? <laughs> Prepare yourself for a lot of jokes like that. So, I decided to push one of those buttons. But which button? Look at all those. Stop. I'm gonna need the toilet to continue working while I'm doing my business. Thank you very much. Sound? What, what? You can turn on sound. What's more disturbing is you can turn off sound. What would that be like? <laughs> But look at this, two different ways to spray your undercarriage. Spray and bidet. One of the ways to spray with your bidet is called bidet. And you can adjust the pressure. I've never had to make so many decisions about what I've been doing to my butt. I decided to push the one of the dude falling off his handlebars. Don't ride the handlebars, kids. Anyway, I pushed the button and here's what happened. <sighs> I've been failing for you. It comes as no surprise. You bury me, then you bring after that moment, I knew I was never going back to the back with toilet paper. That's not true. I have a family at home. I couldn't stay in Japan and I couldn't convince them to come with me because they have family here. Ugh. Plus, I still use toilet paper with a bidet, just not as much. But someday, I have toilet dreams. But when we bought our new house and for the first time in my life, I had control of my own toilet, I trashed that piece of garbage and I bought a new one with a bidet attached. I didn't get the full high-tech Japanese toilet because those are monstrously expensive. But someday. I have toilet trees. So why are bidets so great? Greg? Well, the reasons are 8,000 fold. Allow me to list all of them. One, your butt feels cleaner. Because two, your butt is cleaner. Because three, you spray water on your butt. And four, that does not feel as weird as you think it does. Or five, as weird as rubbing toilet paper on your butt should feel. Because six, when you think about it, rubbing toilet paper on your butt just is weirder. And seven, more expensive. And eight, more wasteful. And nine, bidets are just better. All right. I understand many of you are hesitant. Different tracks for different cracks. I get it, but here's the thing. But days are just better. Don't take my word for it. Here's some testimonials. This guy has a channel devoted to bidet reviews, which is wonderful. Wonderful idea for a YouTube channel. Massive fan. I'm a massive proponent of bidets. You guys can watch my other videos on this channel where I dive deep into specific models. Anywho, this other guy is very passionate about bidets. He showed how to install them and he did a very helpful Q&A. You might have to wiggle around to get the proper placement of the water on your butthole. Mm -hmm. And if you can't believe a couple of random YouTube channels, who can you believe? Beyonce and Jay-Z. Jay-Z and Beyonce have these two bidets right next to each other so they can sit there and hold hands while they get their bunguses cleaned out. You used Jay-Z and Beyonce's matching his and hers bidets. Jigga Man's bidet. Granted, that's a fictional movie, but if you can't believe a fictional movie, who can you believe? My wife? Answer me honestly. How do you feel about bidets? Um, good? See. Could take it or leave it. What? I mean, I just, like, I don't feel- Cut, any... cut, cut! How about my friend Ty? He's a business guy, he goes to Japan all the time. He's who I went to Japan with. How are bidets? Changed my life. Enjoy a bidet. And you'll enjoy every day. Or how about Doug Mahoney from Wirecutter, who'd never tried a bidet, and then he tried 13 for an article. He's a convert. Hey, Hal, what do you think the picture for this bidet article should be? Bidets? Cartoon faces of people pooping. All right. Anyway, I like to think he wrote that article using a bidet. In fact, I like to think everyone I talk to is currently using a bidet. Just makes the conversation flow more. <laughs> all right, listen, if you read that article, you probably won't. I mean, who reads articles? But if you do, you're gonna learn that not all bidets are created equal. And I wanna make sure when you have your first bidet experience, sorry, first bidet experience, my lisp became more pronounced there for a second. I know that annoys some people, but also, What's the matter with you? Why does that annoy you? But more importantly, why would you take it upon yourself to point that out? Just go away. Anyway, I just want to make sure when you have your first bidet experience, it's a good one. Or just know that it could be better. The best way to do it is to try one in Japan because they have mastered the art of spraying your butt. Maybe it was just because it was my first time or I was just excited because I was in Japan, but it did seem like the bidet was better there than the one we have installed here. Ronnie Chang agrees with me about Japanese bidets and he's a comedian, so it's true. First time I saw one, I was like, there's no way this thing works. It's a gimmick. Oh, how wrong I was. Hot jet stream of water on target every time. It's like every toilet in Japan has like a camera and a guy aiming it in the back. 
That is a great stand-up special on Netflix that I enjoyed very much, and you should watch it, by the way. And no one is paying me to say that. Yet. Now I realize not all of you are poopy warbucks and can just fly to Japan for a number two. So if you live on the outskirts of Pootopia, where things get a bit herky-jerky and you might have too much pressure, not enough pressure, it might not be lined up correctly, just know you can adjust it. And you might need to dry off a little bit with toilet paper. In Japan, I actually didn't even need toilet paper at all. It was a miracle. But trust me, once you try it out, your life will be better in this one aspect. Aspect. <laughs> Ah! Now then, like water, fresh from a bidet, a question arises. Since the rest of the world seems to be using the bidet, why doesn't the U.S., by and large, use the bidet? Let's delve into history. The bidet is thought to have been invented in 1600s France, thus ending the red essence. Bidet is actually rooted in the French term for pony. That's gotta be confusing. Excuse me, monsieur, I'm in need of a bidet. Oh, oui, oui, the stable's over there. Stables? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Old bidets looked like this, and they were kept in the bedroom, and I could see myself accidentally sitting on one thinking it's a chair. So, always cordon off your poop place. And during that time, bidets were associated with the aristocracy. Marie Antoinette was granted one while she was awaiting the guillotine. Lucky. Okay, enough about France. Let's talk about the good old red, white, and blue. Still France? No, America! Apparently Americans were largely introduced to bidets when World War II soldiers went overseas and they saw them in bordellos. So they were associated with sex work. And since America is afraid of sex, apparently, it was just associated with those sinful, frisky Europeans. You just keep European and pooping and sex in ways over there, Europe. This is America. We don't believe in sensible hygiene for inevitable bodily functions and human behavior. We got something better. Smear and paper on our butt. But despite this, in 1964, the American Bidet Company tried to change the hearts and butts of America. Founder Arnold Cohen called it the Sitz Bath. <gasps> Insert joke about shirts bath. <laughs> but then he met with a Japanese company that took his idea and it spread all over Japan. And then another Japanese company, Toto, invented the washlet, the bidet toilet hybrid, bringing them both together for a wonderful excrement experience, which I have dubbed experience. So at last, the bidet went inter-incontinental. It caught on big in Japan during the technology upswing in the 1980s. The only upswings we were paying attention to in America were that of Rocky and Arnold, too distracted to be concerned with any upswings into our butts. Plus, it was really expensive, so again, the bidet became associated with the rich. So in conclusion, why doesn't America, by and large, use bidets? Well, probably when they first came out, they were associated with fancy Europeans and sinful sexy times. And now, we're just too set in our ways. I think this is silly. We should be focused on what matters most, getting rid of poop. But the good news is there's lots of companies now offering not so pricey bidet add-ons. And I want every single one of you to get one because I want to be able to clean my butt effectively every single place I go, especially your house, Carl. Think of it this way. If a bird pooped on your arm, would you just, mm, no, better yet, if you pooped on your own arm, would you just, yeah, well, I'll wipe it away with a towel. Nope, you wouldn't. You would clean the crap out of that, literally. So why not do the same for the end? Thank you for watching. And now I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, Wondrium. They put the yum in Wondra, not their official tagline. Nor should it be, because yum sort of implies food, but it's not really food-based. Wondrium is the premier entertaining and educational video subscription service that enriches your overall life through approachable, comprehensive, and illuminating content. Some of that is food-based, like food, a cultural culinary history, or food gardening. Or bugs! Yes, bugs as food. Useful for me because I'm going to probably make a video later this year about eating bugs, in which I will eat bugs, and I'm Gonna use that course for reference, for knowledge, for knowledge, for reference. I'm so excited that I'm bugging out about it. <laughs> That's a pun, which you can learn more about with the philosophy of humor. You've heard me talk about the Great Courses Plus before. Now they're called Wondrium. So if someone refers to them as Great Courses Plus, you can be like, listen, Grandpa. Those folks decided to make big moves to make better, broader bigger, and more mind-blowing experiences, and giving you even more reasons to love learning. So, now they're called Wondrium, where you can find all the tried and true great courses plus content and more. My daughter has been starting to ask why questions. We were reading a book and it referenced Isaac Newton getting hit on the head with an apple and discovering gravity, and she was like, why? And so I tried to explain gravity to her, and I was like, uh, I'm not really explaining this very well. I'm gonna learn more about gravity first. So I'm watching the course on gravity, and I'm learning super interesting things, like how the apple didn't actually hit Isaac Newton on the head, which I kind of suspected. Did you know that the repelling electro magnetic force of a proton inside a penny is the same weight as a mountain range? Mind blown. What are you doing? B visual aid for mind blown. Don't do that again. 
Yeah, it felt weird. If you'd like to learn all these things, well, you've come to the right place to click on the place where you can go to learn about all these things. And they're offering a free trial just for you, Carl, and everybody else. So if you wanna show your support, you can click wondrium.com slash wheezywaiter to start your free trial today. Seriously, your brain is gonna love this place, as well as your Brian, if you have a Brian in your life and you convince them to also have a subscription. Thank you, and thank you for watching my video. FYI, over on my second channel, Wheezy News, I've been making a bunch more videos in the old Wheezy Waiter style that some of you might be familiar with. Wheezy News, jang, jing, ba donk a donk boom. Speaking of poops, if you've been missing that, I've made uh, like four of them, but probably more by the time this goes live. I'm gonna try to continue to make lots and lots of them all the time forever. I'm not even gonna eat or sleep. And China and I are doing another series on the AMC YouTube channel called Movie Buff, in which we watch movies and we make exercise routines that are thematically linked to those movies. And then we do the exercise routines. The first episode just came out. It's Tommy Boy. And the next episode is probably gonna be out by the time this video goes live, Thelma and Louise. So if you wanna see China and I talking about movies and suffering through ridiculous workouts that we probably made too hard for ourselves, Check it out. Here's a playlist of why do people like videos. I'll put a link maybe to the latest Wheezy News, old style Wheezy video up there. Subscribe! And you can support me on Patreon. I bid you bidet. <laughs> Seriously, get a bidet. But, 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 but,